Hi guys, welcome. This is a real metal machine. And the topic of the video is, I have two screens. Why is it mirrored? I just have one screen. The same things happens on both screens, right? What am I on? I'm on Endeavor OS, the Cassini. I have installed the Linux Nemesis script. I have installed ATT, so the Arch Linux Tweak tool and CHADWM has been my default since a few months on my ISO builder. So I want to have this here too, but with two screens, right? So at this point in time, I have just 10 workspaces and they're all the same, they're mirrored. So I would not want to have 20 workspaces. That's a better workflow for me. All right, so how will I investigate this? Control Alt F. You go for Artonix, YouTube, okay. And you make sure that you see my name somewhere, Eric Dubois, right? Then you go, click on the link. Don't need to see this video. I need to go to the channel itself. So this is the channel. Then stop the intro video, go to search. CHDWM is a possibility if there's already a video about it about this dual screen thing right otherwise maybe a yeah, dual screen is a good idea and there we go dual screen what key bindings to use but that's actually after the effect after it's installed so this is about the key bindings not about setting it up change your desktop preferences tip for dual screen users might be good but it's lxqt might be exactly the same thing so it doesn't really don't let yourself be boxed in it might apply to this as well. But you just keep on looking here as well um, how to set your dual screen. Arclinks, that's very years ago, huh? 390 in the numbering you will see. That is some time ago. But basically, that's what you do. You try to find out, and the Arch Wiki can help you maybe. Let's see. It should be a reflex, right? Arch Wiki dual screen. Let's see what we get. Multi-hat is the technical term, and you start to start reading what you can do. So it's not XFC, it's not Mate, it's not Plasma. You, what you're left with is a minimal desktop environment, CHADWM, and then you need to figure out how do I set my things, all right? So all the information is explained here, and it gets very technical in the sense that there are so many monitors out there, right? It's here. Now, the other thing I would like you to think about as well is first of all, Super D. There's a lot of apps. And one of the apps to remember is A Render or X Render. A Render. Right? Not here. Escape. Control Alt W is the welcome. If indeed. <laughs> It is linked, I don't see, it's not linked, I see. So the article, link, oh, it's not even installed. So I'm, in, I'm on Telecoms, right, right. I'm on Telecoms, right. So what are we missing is the pseudo pack on minus S article links. Welcome app. In the welcome app, we've written, control W, right, we've written, um, not here, I guess, oh my God, Mist I'm mistaken. So when you're in the live DVD, there is this button here. And the button says, change, oh, it is, it is, which is hidden away, screen resolution. And that's a render. So by installing this, a render came with it. And I can actually say, drag this here. So I'm telling him that HDMI is to the left from HDMI 2. And if I apply this, it's done. There is no more mirroring. You can't see it, it's on the other screen, but it's done. The problem is it's now okay. But next boot up, it won't be okay. And this thing, right, this is the A render. So if you start typing, A render, that's it. That's the application, that's visual. The other thing is X render, which is also good, but I mean, it doesn't really show you what to set it gives you all the options and all the frequencies and all that but it doesn't tell you how 
to arrange these things. If I say layout, save as, and I call it screen or something, screen inside dot screen layout, save, we'll check out what it is. And this is already documented on, on videos, right? But again, an opportunity being on Ampergos, this is what I need to do to make this work. My mouse cursor goes from left to right, and that's why the icons follow here. So you know I'm speaking the truth, right? We have a dual screen, but not next time around. Okay, what happens in the dot config? No, in the screen layout, we have this. And this is technical. X render, output, HDMI 1, primary, mode, this, position, that, rotate, normal, output, H, and so on. So this line will make sure that everything boots up fine if I tell it to boot up with it. Now, it all depends where you uh, are going to, what desktop you have, right? 30 plus desktops. I think we're at 35 or something like that. So where do I set it in my system? That's entirely up to you. One of the things is that we have the Arch Linux tweak tool, and that was basically years ago, but we tend to forget, right? Why we created this particular tab, how to start. Because we don't have these how to start things. If I can say screens or, or dual or whatever, this doesn't matter, right? It's just a name. But the command is going to control H, is going to screen, 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 screen layout, this one, open, and comment doesn't matter. If I add this, item has been added to auto start. So this thing, there is something, something happened. What happened? Config, auto start, I've created a dual desktop. And in here it says, execute home Eric screen layout screen as h and then if does that if that doesn't work <laughs> you try again right so that's something that will boot up next time around if and that's a big if if it actually looks at the content of how to start many tyler winner managers don't they don't look at it so it's up to you to learn articlinksd.com, the website still open, yeah. So on articlinksd.com, all the desktops, the D stands for desktops, here all the information of all the desktops is gathered together, Hyperland and Sway being the new guys, right? It's gonna be in here somewhere. And here we have a list of 19 videos and this one will be number 20. Okay, so, um, you have to know how this works. How is Arco CHDWM working actually? And you have to think about these things. Is something, where's the startup of this thing? Is this somewhere in here? This is the application. This is how we build it. This is the content, how we build it. But where's the script to how to start things? Here's a run. What's that? Function run, run this, run that. Oh, look at that run home config out to start if you can do this as well right you see all the possibilities it's all available so there are many ways to yeah to, to come to the same conclusion the same solution is basically saying okay i can either run this particular um, text desktop that we've created so in here in the auto start We've created a dual desktop, so it's a matter of control C and then control D, but it's not called Arcanix Welcome App, it's going to be called a dual desktop. That one is going to point back to the script, or you can run the script right in here. But this is a video for everybody, not just CHADWM, but also for i3 and also for BSPWM, it doesn't really matter. It's all about how is this desktop executing scripts and what order 
where should I put it? How should I put it? How should I add it? And you can actually do this, right? These are not my resolutions. These are laptop resolutions. This might have been my resolution. I don't know. So it is really looking well, copy pasting basically here. If I go for screen as age and take this one, control C, I go in here and I tell them to do exactly the same thing, right? It will be executed as simple as that. So now we have double. <laughs> I've said it double. Hey, if it now doesn't, if it doesn't work now, right? <laughs> so it's just all knowledge and it's on the YouTube videos, right? And another video to dual boot. All right. Cheers. Dual boot, what I'm saying. Dual screen, of course. Right. Bye.